Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to install ZT2791 modem on Fedora 19 or 20. The first thing you need the installation file, when you plug that USB data card into the Fedora 19 and it will automatically mount it as a CD drive. Uh, from there you can download the installation file, I already downloaded those installation file in a in download folder. Uh, and one more important file is nas-lib for th that file I already give the download link in my description uh, below this video uh, that file is very necessary so first go to CD downloads then uh, here I have a folder relies I go to the CD relies there you see the one file is nas-lib uh, this for download link you can find in the description field this is very important file without this file sometimes the installation become fail or if the solution successful the user uh, the graphical interface will not open so I use a command yum local install nasdaqlib oops typing mistake so yum local install this will also install this file as well as any dependency file also so it takes few seconds yes press yes okay here we done so we just install the required file then we go to the folder cd linux this folder is basically for operating system uh, 32 bits so first we need to change the file permission 770 to every file and then we need to run a script file that call uh, install so I use dot slash install and then it will install the driver and it's, it's, it's give you some message here you see it's a checking LSA library checking live audio to two library so this file is very important live audio to file it's also uh, making USB serial drive module and uh, it's also say that we don't need a USB serial driver and it's also said please insert the CDMA terminal after such a complete so I disconnect the U drive um, uh, sorry disconnect the data card and reconnect it and uh, let's check that it is detected as a modem or not so I use ls slash dat u capital u dot star so let's see again it if you see the USB 0, 1, 2 and 3 that means it is detected as a modem. So now go to internet and then Reliance Pro 3 and boom. Here it is. Show the user graphical user interface and see the signal strength is full. I just click on connect. Take a few seconds. Yeah. Yes. Here it is. So my internet is now working. So now I disconnect this modem. So the important thing is that that file is very important. Without installing that file, this will not work. So please don't forget to download that file which link is given below in the description field and if you like this video tutorial please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it.